as a family tonight, checking on our cattle. Sadie is loving on dark chocolate. He is one of our bottle calves. Two years ago, two years ago. Dark chocolate. And her are pretty good friends. My husband. My son. We always do all of our stuff like this together as a family. Doesn't matter, anybody can be walking out there. As long as they know you, they're pretty calm. As long as you're calm, they are calm. we have our own bulk bin and we get all of our corn ground up and my husband puts it in there we had some spillage so we're going to clean it up so we don't put anything to waste go Zane he's going to go feed the bottle calves Again, these were the bottle calves the kids had last year at fair. This year. Or this year, I'm sorry. This year at fair. Hi, sweetie. Want your food? Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Zane put the corn in over there and creep. Mike's got some alfalfa for him. Hi there, what do you think? How are you? Hi. It's a big go. Oh yeah, you like eating everything. And that means you're hungry. There's Stevie right here in front of me and there's Buffy. And they're ready to go eat. These are all of our feeder, feeder cattle. There are maybe a couple heifers in here. Otherwise, they're all steers. They're on a really tight ration. We did have to do some adjustments through the heat. Just as us, they don't eat as much. So we'll uh, make sure we get them bumped back up. We do also have a meat store, like Frankfurt Ridge Steaks and Chops, okay, you and, I don't eat. and you can find them on Facebook. That's our meat store that we have. Ow. We sell meat by the cut. We do um, pork and our own beef. Check them out. Check us out there, actually. 
and she likes to talk to everybody. So if you hear her chattering in the background, she's taking them in some, what do you got there? Uh, some cone. Oh, it's like a little treat for him, huh? Oh, you missed that one. Do you want this? You want the whole one, right? That one? W-I-K-U? Much happier this evening than even yeah. last night. It's a lot cooler out here. Alrighty, let's walk on down here and see the other ones. Hey, you boy. Come on, what are you doing now? Yeah. Lone Ranger. He usually is over there with the other herd, but just still relaxing and enjoy the coolest temperature. Here's the ladies. Doing good. All the bugs, you can see them all in front of my camera. Lots and lots of mosquitoes, so. These guys are over in our cornfield. And they're gonna get them some ears of corn like a little special treat for them to get it fresh right out of the field. We have one out there and she'll come up and she'll eat a bunch of them if you let her. We got some little calves right there. Yep, right there are those calves this year. See, there's Trixie. She's like, oh, what are they doing? You hear the cat meowing. It's one of our farm cats. We call her Fuzz. All right, let's see if she comes up here. And she knows that that's what they've got. Here she comes. For us, raising the cattle is just a family thing we do. We all spend a lot of time down here together. Here, Mo. They just eat that right up. They love it. Trixie was our neighbor's bottle calf. Yeah, we got And Moo was Zane's first bottle calf that he ever had. And then Sadie's first bottle calf, his name was Prancer, and he looks a lot like, he looks a lot like Trixie, but he, 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 served, he served a different purpose and where the heifers were able to keep them and get a calf or a few out of them. Here comes another one of our girls I'm wanting to have a piece of the. I gotta go feed bunch of Lulu. Is Lulu available? Yes, she is. Oh no, this is for my Lulu. They're all super gentle around the kids because we're super gentle with them. We keep everything as calm as we possibly can around them, even moving them from pasture to or from lot a lot or whenever we have to do different things with them and we clean out the lots we keep everything really calm so that we can always provide the best quality meat for people and then also for these girls and they can be the most calmest for us to have their babies and we don't have to worry about anybody getting upset at us or so we try to stay as calm as we possibly can some of them have never had um, the corn straight out of the field like this, so we always try to introduce them to it. It's always fun having them come up and have a little treat. 
We got these two here. They won't pass up a treat for anything. How hopefully Lulu comes back up. Almost like the backyard to this one. Something. Oh, there's some good looking ants. You want that? Anybody? Anybody? Moo's like, no, I want that corn. Fine. Moo will eat anything. Moo will eat anything. So, Mike, can you tell the viewers yeah. anything a little bit more about cattle that you think is important that people know that oh. maybe aren't around them? Or? Cattle are as gentle or as wild as you want them to be. And it's kind of hard to explain, but I mean, a lot of it is a real cattleman has a bond with their livestock. And a livestock man with that is livestock. Is sort of lost. I, don't, I guess that's about the only good way to explain it. But so you're you're you still have a bond with all of them because they all have a purpose here on our farm. Well, and to me, to me, no, the cattle is, yeah, yeah. is no different than family. Right. They're all they're all family. Exactly. But they all have a purpose on our farm. They have a purpose. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we still treat them with um, the yeah. utmost kindness and respect and yeah. love. Part of being a livestock producer is to do the absolute best you can do to take care of them and make them as comfortable as possible. You really love that, don't you? <laughs> and. Uh, there's there's people that that have livestock I mean they do it because it's a job to me it's not a job I feel the most grounded when I'm with my cattle I do agree they bring a lot of happiness and peace to life there you go. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> she was like, are you kidding me? I want that Don't corn. Give me the husk, give me the corn. <laughs> but there we, you go, man. We'll tell them that we'll leave those husks here when we leave, and they'll be gone in the morning. But Down right the now. Pipe? There you go. <laughs> right now they just. How many stomachs does um, a cow have? Four. Four stomachs. Hard for a lot of people to fathom what they do and what they can. Um, That's how an animal that size can ingest approximately 45 pounds of feed. Exactly. In a matter of minutes. They gobble it down and then they go and get a drink and then they lay down and start chewing their cud. Bring it back up, chew up everything that they ate, and it goes on to the next stomach. What do you suspect um, Trixie here, the white face, weighs approximately Trixie just by looking at her? Around 1,700. Okay. 16 to 17. All right. Miss Moo, she's... Pretty big. She's probably in that uh, 15 range. Trixie is really looking good. And we're hoping to get her bred here. Hopefully she'll get bred by the bull that we have out here. And we'll see what we get from her. We'll have some June, July calves. Yep, June or July calves. You can see my daughter down there. She's really good with them too. Talks non-stop too many and they like that. Our cattle also enjoy music. So when we're all out here as a family, sometimes we'll just sit down here and play music on our phone or just uh, pull up some videos on YouTube and we'll play things for them and they love, love to be talked to. They love music. They're just like us. The quickest way to calm down cattle is to just talk to them. Yep. 
All right, Trixie, because you used to not let us pet you at all. Let them lick you. But now Trixie will come up to us. She used to run away from us. But she's she's definitely loved here, and we, we give her what she needs. All right, well, time to keep filling up her tanks. And we'll just be sitting down here as a family, spending time with them. If anybody has anything they're wanting to know, just send us a message or comment on our video. More things you want to see. We're hoping to just keep expanding this and getting them the information out there that people need to know about cattle and what all goes into it and the meat that we have here for our feeders over in those pens over there. We take good care of them because they're the ones that we um, process for our meat shop. Yes, we do call them by names. Some of them have names, some of them don't. But we all know we've raised our kids that that is what their purpose is for us. Where the ladies here, they give us the calves. And then um, we can in turn sell the calves. So they have their purpose here. Some of the calves we keep and then we'll get bred back from a different either a different bowl you do AI is another opportunity we have we have a, a great guy that we do go to um, that does help us with some AI things so we're just doing what we can they need to give them another little mister seeing how they're doing everybody have a blessed great weekend and here's to hopefully we can get some nice cooler temperatures and maybe some rain. That would be awesome. Have a great weekend, everybody.